Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Today I am flying solo as I'm gonna be doing a DIY project for a notebook pen holder. Um, when we go on vacation, we have like a little notebook that we take that's our trip book and we use that to write down like where we're going and anything that we'd like to remember or anything that we want to recommend for next time. So um, for example, we might stay in a hotel and it's like, this was awful, don't ever stay here again. Or there's great food on exit 37. So we just try to write that stuff down so that we have it for when we go on future trips. And then we can, it's always fun to like look back and see what we did and what things um, we got excited about and what little notes that we left. So when we go in the car, we tend to bring that notebook and then there's like pens kind of kicking all over. Um, sometimes they get lost, there's not a good place to put them. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a pen holder that goes around the cover of the notebook. And you'll just be able to kind of put that pen in there uh, and it will stay with the notebook essentially. So this is pretty easy to do. There's a few essentials that you have to have. First, we have our notebook as you can see and that uh, pen holder is going to go right down the middle here and it will hold um, our pens for when we go on trips we've got fabric because we primarily use this for disney i'm going to use uh, Minnie mouse fabric have to have some elastic to help it go around the cover i have interfacing i don't know that it's necessary to have the interfacing but i thought that it might make it just a little bit more durable got some scissors and something to measure out the fabric with and then of course a sewing machine so that I can actually sew it and have everything go together nicely. So the first step is to cut your fabric and the way that I determined how big it needed to be was I actually took the notebook I was going to use and just kind of check to see how far or how large it needed to be. Obviously it changes depending on what notebook you're using as it could be larger or smaller. But you want it about right here with just a little bit of space in between and this is where the elastic is gonna really go on there to help it stay snug and not fall off. So that was step one. Okay, the next step is to cut a second piece that's gonna be your pocket and you wanna cut that about half the length of the other um, piece that you first cut. Just as a note, I tend to cut the pieces just a little bit bigger than I'm going to need because sometimes when you fold things over to sew, I feel like you lose a little bit of your fabric. So I just tend to just make it a little bit bigger. Um, and as far as the width of this goes, that's going to be totally up to you as well. Um, I'm just going to put a pen in it, like I said, but some people may be doing this for a textbook or a notebook and you want to put like a highlighter or a pencil or maybe a couple like markers in it. So you might want to make it a little bit wider or if you want to you can even just make it a little bit narrower so it's totally up to you on this um, very customizable okay we're going to get the pocket ready so that we can sew so to do this you want to wrap your fabric around your notebook and then figure out exactly kind of where it's going to go so you see that it's kind of hard to tell because my pocket's the same color as the fabric because you can change um, this is where the notebook's going to start, so I don't want to sew it any lower down. Like I need to have some fabric underneath it that I sew. So I'm just going to kind of mark that spot. And what you're going to want to do is to sew that pocket in there. And then you're going to want to figure out exactly how wide you're going to want that. I'm going to use about half of the fabric because um, what we're going to do is actually fold this over inside out so that we can sew. So I'm going to cut that piece just a little bit so that it thins it out and is the perfect size for my pens and pencils. This is what we end up with. This is our pocket. This is what's going to wrap around the notebook. You can see that it's about half. We know that we just measured and it's going to have to be all the way up here in order to make sure that it's in the right spot when we put that elastic on. So what I'm going to do is put this face up and I'm going to put this in it. What we're going to want to do is here is our cover, here's our pocket, and I have just a little bit of a fold here so I can, I know where I need to go. And we're going to put that in there and fold this over. And then I am going to sew right up this line making sure that I secure that pocket when I sew up. Now this is totally optional. Um, if you're really good at sewing and you don't need to pin it, then that's 
that's awesome. I wish I was that good, um, but I'm still kind of new to the process, so I am going to pin it so that I don't um, make any mistakes in lining things up when I go to sew. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I did buy interfacing in case I wanted to put it in to make it a little bit sturdier, but I don't think I'm going to use it on this one. I am making a Minnie Mouse ears holder for the backpack for when I go to Disney that I got um, a great idea from a fellow uh, YouTube vlogger. So I am going to be using that for this, and I also plan on making a uh, new table runner. So it's, I don't think it's going to go to waste, um, but I don't think I'm going to use it for this. This is the folded and pinned. I don't know if you can see the pins on there. Um, all set to go. So I'm going to just sew it all the way down the edge. Again, making sure that you've got your uh, <clears throat> your pocket aligned in there and it doesn't get uh, missed. All right, now that we have it sewed up that one side, we got to sew up the other side so that the pocket is fully attached and not flipping open like a door. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other side closed up as well. Okay, so we have it sewn up both sides. It's down this side, it's down this side. And now we just have to flip it right side up so we can sew that pocket closed at the bottom because obviously we don't want our pins and pencils to fall out. This is one of the parts that I hate the most because I hate trying to get it right side out. So if you are someone who sews and makes things a lot, love to hear if you have any tips to kind of do this a little bit more smoothly and quicker, uh, leave them in the comment down below. All right, I have it turned right side out now. And you can see like here is the pocket. Um, one thing that I did not like about how I did this is the pocket is kind of like rough edges. Um, let me see if you can see on there. It's just not totally straight from where I cut the fabric. I think it's kind of hard to see, but it's, it's a little frayed. So if I did this again, I would probably fold down the pocket first. Um, and so that's so that it had a little bit of a cleaner edge. But what we're going to want to do is actually sew part of the pocket um, together so that it doesn't come loose. So I'm going to do that now. So I went ahead and did some hand sewing to get this on here. And then I also did fold this down and tack it um, just to make it a little bit more clean as well. So now we've got pretty good, pretty good start to this. It's almost done. Um, you can see that once I put it on here, I'm going to be able to stick my pens right in here and it will sit nicely. And then as far as the inside of the notebook goes, we're about right here and here. So now we just need to get the uh, elastic on there so that we can slip it on there and it holds it nice and snug. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. And so you can do this two different ways. If it's wide enough, you could actually get two of these pieces on there. I don't really think that mine is wide enough for two because you can see that one is like half the size of it. So I'm only gonna do one piece. So this part can get a little bit tricky. That's because we need to make sure that this fits snugly and the elastic is not too loose. You are also gonna have to turn these in when you sew them so they don't have rough edges. And we're gonna sew this elastic strip right on there. So I am going to cut it so that, you see I don't wanna cut it loose, I actually wanna stretch it just a little bit so I know that it's snug. Probably gonna cut it right about there. You can, if you want to, make sure it's super reinforced. You can always get it a little bit lower in there, but you do wanna stretch it so it stays nice and snug on there. So now I have folded, folded the ends down here. I just kind of folded them in and I'm just gonna stick this on the top here. And when the ends fold it down, I'm going to sew right across there. All right, got one side done. Super exciting. And now I'm just gonna do that other side. So same thing, you want to fold that down in there. 
so that it doesn't look rough around the edges. Cut any loose strings that you have. I have a couple there that I'll need to take care of. And then pop that right in to close the loop. All right, so I just sewed the other side and completed the loop. So now it is good to put on our notebook. And if you do it right, it should be a little bit snug because we want it to stay on there. And then we have it right there and we can just stick our pen right in the top and now we're good to go. All good to go. It should be good for vacation and it will stay in there and there is extra room so if I wanted to put like a pencil or some more pens, it would fit that as well. I don't know what else we might put in there but you never know. So this is pretty easy. Love to know if you try it at home. Like I said, leave me a comment down below if you have any tips or tricks or anything that you think you might do differently. I'd love to hear it and love to see what modifications you would make. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay magical. Bye.